Warm welcome to our guest. Uh, my name is Adelaide. I come from Accra. I went to the Right to Dream Academy, and I'm now on a full scholarship as a senior in Millbrook in New York. You'll be hearing from Firas from Benin, Maxwell from Ghana, and Joy from Nigeria. Like Maxwell, growing up in Ghana is very challenging. Sometimes challenges come at you at a very young age, not giving you the chance to be a child. In some cultures and countries, kids are encouraged to have many dreams, to wander, to expand, and even go to the moon. But in some society, they do the opposite and crash his dreams. And I believe that every child in the world has the capacity to have many dreams. And that was the same for me. Only my society did not support them. Being a Ghana is very challenging. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I grew up in a surrounding where women are farmers, sellers, cleaners, and the highest, highest occupation as nurses. And I was surrounded by people who hadn't been to school or even been to college. I used to sit and watch the boys play soccer, and I just wanted to get up and play. But that wasn't simple, because it wasn't the norm. At a very young age, when I said I wanted to play soccer, I was laughed at and told to stop being a boy. So at some point, I believed them, because there was no one to tell me the otherwise. At some point, my dream changed from being a lawyer to a more realistic dream, which everybody thinks in Ghana, most women think. You marry a rich guy, which will automatically make you rich, and it will allow you to have a pretty easy life. When I was seven years old, my dad spoke to me. And he said when he was growing up, he wanted to be a lawyer, but he never got the chance to be. And he told me that I could grow up to be that person that he never got the chance to be. So that is what I started dreaming about. When I would tell people that I wanted to be a lawyer, they would laugh and call me names. They shout mockingly, Madam Lawyer, Madam Lawyer. This was upsetting and it was very confusing. And it hurts me that they were happy to demean me and what I was capable of doing. This was hard for a little girl. And was my dad wrong? Sometimes they'll ask me the question again, and then I'll think twice. Do I say my actual dream, or a more realistic one? A one way they wouldn't laugh at. <sighs> but right to dream changed that. Right to dream teaches women to have a voice. Right to dream teaches women to grow in confidence and demand more. This is Fati, one of the younger girls sharing her voice on International Women's Day with 800 people, 8,000 people, 800,000 people. Yeah. You've told me since the age of three that I was less than simply for being born me. You've told me who I am and who I was to be. To follow, not lead. You've told me to look after the children while I was a child myself. Serve without question. Leave for someone else. You told me this will attract a husband. 
that my livelihood depends on it, on him. You told me to tend to the wants of others, carry their weights by myself, a hope for education, a hope to be a doctor. You told me to leave that for someone else. You've told me and you've told her and her too. We've had it every single day. Don't burden, challenge, question. Do not bring shame. Because this is how it is. This is how it's always been. This way of thinking stops here with me. Now, now I'm telling you, I am a Ghanaian woman. I am telling you, you are the foundation of a home. You are the heart of a family. You are a symbol of strength. And without even realizing, you became the spark for my dream. A dream not shackled by centuries of injustice. A dream driven by it. Because it's not about how far we've come. It's about how far we are going. I am telling you, demand respect. Put your needs first and dream because you deserve it. There's power in passion and purpose. And the wonderful thing about passion is it conquers fear every single time. Take their words and let it drive you. So, don't look back, attack the goal. Because I'm telling you, you have the right to dream. So let's go. Sometimes those around you can shape your dreams for the better and sometimes for the worse. Sometimes you need a guardian and this can be a person, an organization or even a sport. Someone that holds your dream and gives you the courage for all to see. Faith took away my first guardian but then I was lucky. Right to dream and football came into my life. Football helped me overcome my fear and build my confidence. Football gave me that platform to build new passions and break down social barriers. It has taken me from my first year of right to dream, the first girl through the program, to me now, standing in front of you shy without a drop of confidence. And in a year, I'll be going to college. I want to help those who don't have the voice. And I'll be that lawyer. I have a scholarship to university and I was recently named um, Michael Johnson Young Leader. And I have an award, I have a prestigious award with Nike. Yes, everyone has the right to dream, but we need guardians to protect them. I look at Coca-Cola and I see one of the most powerful company. With you, we can inspire this continent and we can be, and you can be the guardian for both boys and girls. And with that, I wanna say thank you for coming.